Hello everyone, I am Christopher and today I'm going to be teaching you how to mod your Nintendo Switch on firmware 17.0. In order to mod your Switch, you're going to need a V1 Switch. So if you have a V2, a Switch Lite or an OLED, this tutorial won't work for you. Unless you have a hard modded Switch, which means you purchased a third party chip and installed it onto your Switch and now you can install custom firmware onto your device. In order to even begin modding your Switch, you're going to need an SD card and an SD card adapter. You're also going to need an SD card reader, a USB to USB-C connector for your switch to your computer, and an RCM jig to connect to your Nintendo Switch. As always, if you don't have these items, I'll list them down in the description box down below. First, we're going to begin by going into our system settings, scrolling down all the way to system. And as you'll see, we're on 17.0. We're going to scroll all the way down to serial information. We're going to select that. And where it says console, we'll see our serial number right next to it. We're going to type that serial number into ismyswitchpatch.com. Now that we're here, we're going to select our prefix. Whichever prefix your switch serial number starts with, you're going to select it here. For mine, it's XAW1. Once you select that, you're going to type the first six digits of your switch serial number. For mine, it's 000594. And as you can see, my switch is not patched, so I can continue modding my switch. Now we're going to begin downloading the files that we need to mod our switch. We're going to need to format our SD card, so I'm going to use EaseUS Partition Master. They have a free version that you can download. You're just going to select free download. You don't have to input your email, so you can just exit out of that and select free download one more time and the download should begin. After that, we're going to download Tegra RCM, so I'm going to download the installer. Afterwards, we're going to go to Atmosphere and the current version is 1.6.1. So we're going to scroll down. We're going to open up the assets and we're going to download Atmosphere Zip and we're going to download Fuse.bin. Then we're going to go to Hikate. And as you can see, we're on 6.0.7. So we're going to scroll down again. And under the Assets tab, we're going to select the zip file. Then we're going to download our SIG patches. So we're going to go to Sigma patches and we're going to download the SIG patches for version 17.0. And this is the time we're going to put in our SD card into our computer. So now that we have everything downloaded, I recommend backing up your SD card in case you have anything you don't want to lose. For instance, your game saves, your albums from your Switch, or any mods that you currently have on your SD card. Make sure to back it up to your desktop. That way you can re-upload them back to your SD card after we're done formatting it. So we're going to open up our downloads folder and we're going to begin by installing the EPM free installer. So for me, it says reinstall, but it should just say install for you guys. So we're going to select install and let it do its thing. So then we're going to select start now. And as you see here, our SD card is present. So we're going to select that. And on our right tab, we're going to select format and we're going to select that 32. Change the cluster size to 32 and select OK and select yes. And then at the bottom right, we're going to select Execute Task and we'll select Apply. Once it's done, we can select Done and just exit out of here. Now we can open up our SD card and we can begin transferring our files over. So we'll begin by opening up Atmosphere and dragging our files from Atmosphere into our SD card. Then we're going to go back to our downloads and we're going to open up Hikate and we're going to drag bootloader into our SD card. Then you're going to grab your Hikate.bin file and drag it onto your desktop because we will need that for later in our tutorial. Next, we'll go back into our downloads and open up SIG patches and we'll drag and drop our files into our SD card. Afterwards, we'll go back to our downloads again and we're going to go onto our SD card and select bootloader open up payloads and you're going to want to drag the fuse.bin file from your downloads into your payloads folder. Then we're going to go back once into our bootloader. We're going to create our own Hikate IPL by using notepad and reentry.org. So now that we have reentry.org pulled up, we're going to open up our notepad and we're going to go to step three on reentry.org and we're going to copy all the text right here in config and paste it into our notepad. Once you've pasted it into your notepad, you're going to go to file, save, and you're going to change the save as type to all files. And you're going to rename the file name ekate underscore IPL dot INI in all lowercase. And we're going to select save. 
An additional input you can put on your Hikate IPL is custom firmware Sys MMC. So you can mod on your SysNAN, but just beware that if you do this, you have a higher chance of getting banned. So this is completely optional. You do not need to put this into your Hikate IPL. Once you do, select save and exit out of it. If you want that optional text, I'll put it in the description box down below. So we'll see that it's saved on our desktop. So we're just gonna grab it and drag it into our bootloader folder. Once we're done with that, we're gonna go back to the root of our SD card and we're gonna open up Notepad again and we're gonna copy the Exosphere text and we're gonna paste that into our Notepad and we're gonna select save and we're gonna change the save type to all files and rename it exosphere.ini in all lowercase. Select save, and then we're gonna open up a new tab and we can exit out of exosphere. We're gonna highlight block Nintendo servers text and we're gonna copy all of this and paste it into our notepad and select save. We're gonna select all files and rename it default.txt and save. Now we can exit out of this. So we're going to drag the exosphere file into the root of our SD card. Then we're going to open up our atmosphere folder, create a new folder, label it hosts, and we're going to open that up and drag default into there. And we can go back to the root of our SD card. Okay, so we can close out of reentry.org and we're going to install Tegra RCM. This should open up the setup wizard. So we're going to select next. For y'all, it should say install, but for me, it says modify. And we're going to select next and install. Once that's finished, select finish. And it should open once finished. Now we're going to go to settings and we're going to install the driver. This is very important, so do not skip this step. We're going to select yes. And it's going to open up the installation wizard. So we're going to select next and it's finished. Now we can go back to payload. And if you remember earlier, I told you to put that Hikate bin file on your desktop. So we're gonna select this folder to open up our payloads. And we're gonna go to desktop and we're gonna select Hikate 6.0.7.bin and we're gonna select open. And that will be our payload. Now that we have everything prepped, we're gonna go back to our SD card and eject it. So we're gonna go to this PC and right click on our SD card and eject it. Now we're gonna grab our switch and open up our SD card slot and put our SD card in. And you're gonna to wanna to remove your right Joy-Con and grab your RCM jig and slide it in. Make sure the pins are facing downwards. Once you have the RCM jig in the tray, you're gonna to wanna to hold the power and plus button down same time, you can grab your USB-C cable connected to your computer and plug it into your Nintendo Switch. Once you've done that, you'll see the little red screen on the Switch right here turn green, and you're going to want to select Inject Payload. And you'll know you successfully injected your Switch with the green little check mark right here, and it'll say smash the stack with a 0 by 7000 byte setup. If you have a different code other than 0 by 7000, then it didn't successfully inject either because there was an issue or your switch is patched. Once you've successfully injected and gotten into Kate, you'll be met with the date and time. So I'm just going to quickly adjust it to the correct day. Once you're done with that, you're going to press done. And as you can see, we're on Hikate 6.0.7. So I'm just going to press OK. And now I will teach you how to partition your SD card and set up your Emu MMC for your Nintendo Switch. So let's get started. So we're going to go to Tools, Partition SD Card, and we're going to select OK. So for this tutorial, we're going to create an Emu MMC. So we're going to select the red dot and we're going to drag it to 29 gigs. And we're going to select Next. And it's going to tell us, warning, this will partition the SD card. Your files will be backed up and restored. Any other partitions will be wiped. If you already have other partitions like Android or Linux, it will erase it. So make sure you select those as well. Hit start. It's going to ask us if we really want to continue. We will press the power button to continue. And it's going to create that partition for us. Next, we're going to select close. We're going to go home. We're going to select emu MMC. And then we're going to create an emu MMC. So now that we created the SD partition, we're going to select the SD partition. And we're going to select part one. 
and it's going to begin creating the emu MMC for us. This will take a while, so we'll come back to it when it's done. All right, now that that's done, we're going to select close, close again, and we're going to select payloads, and you're going to select fuse.bin. And there you have it. Your Nintendo Switch is loading. All right, so now our Switch is modded, and we can verify by going to our system settings, scrolling down to system, and our current version is 17.0 with Atmosphere Custom Firmware 1.6.1 with an E at the end representing our Emunan. Another way we can verify our mods are working is by going into our album, and we should see all the mods that we installed on our album list. And that's all there is to it. I know a lot of you will run into some problems. So down in my comments, I'm going to pin a frequently asked questions and I'll do my best to answer the questions I get frequently asked. <laughs> so check the comments if you run into any problems. And that's how you mod your Nintendo Switch. This tutorial will work for firmware 17 and any future updates. So just remember, anytime that there is an update, especially a major one like 17.0, you always want to make sure the mod files have been updated before you choose to update your Switch to the latest firmware. If you don't and you update your Switch first and the mods are outdated, your Switch and the mods won't work properly. So it's best to wait a while and let the modders update all the mods to work properly with the latest updates. Thanks for watching my video. If this has helped you out, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and take it easy.